My name is Michal Callahan, and I have tasted and seen that the Lord is good. Um, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, what the Lord has been doing in my life recently. Um, so about two, about two weeks ago, um, I started going through some pretty crazy uh, physical situations. I was having um, like pretty intense tightness localized to the left side of my chest, my left shoulder, my left arm even, and it was, uh, you know, like a constantly ramping up tightness and it was causing me to panic like pretty intensely. And then that panic was on top of that, causing the tightness to get even worse and causing to me, you know, to go into a state of panic. Um, and this was uh, something that was really kind of taking over my mind. Um, I was, you know, believing things I was reading online, that there's a chance that my, you know, that my life could be at stake and all these other things. And, and they weren't completely unfounded either because, you know, tightness in your chest could very well be any of those things. So the danger that, that I was going through was that many of the things that I was reading, many of the things that, you know, I would later come to realize was the enemy whispering lies into my, into my mind. They, they were really effective lies because they were partially true. There was a chance that they could be right. And, um, and this was causing me to kind of spin out into, into panic, into despair, and that was causing all of the symptoms I was feeling to be even worse. Uh, fast forward uh, two weeks, and I still don't know what actually is going on with my chest. I still don't know what exactly was causing those feelings to come along, but a very important change did come across, did start to happen. And that was, I came to terms with the fact that even if, in the worst case scenario, just like Daniel in the Bible, you know, Daniel with the lion, Daniel when he was faced uh, with, with Nebuchadnezzar and, and, and told to, to bow down before uh, these idols, you know, these, these were young men who had their life put in harm's way. These were young men who had to answer the question, do you love God enough to die? And while I was not necessarily being put at gunpoint for my faith, I still felt like I was going through a life-threatening situation. And it was causing me to fall through on my, uh, you know, ministerial uh, obligations that I had given, not making me not want to come out to church. And, and all of these things I could very easily see now were the enemy trying to cut me off, the enemy trying to cause me to panic. So ultimately, I came to the conclusion within myself that regardless of what my mind told me was happening around me, what regardless of what I was convinced was happening with my body, just like Daniel, when he was faced with those situations where his life was put in danger, he had faith to say, I believe that the Lord will deliver me. I believe that the Lord can save me out of these situations, out of the mouth of the lion, out of the hand of mighty kings. But even if he doesn't, I still will proclaim God as my God. And that is a conviction and a revelation that I came to um, and had to come to uh, when facing the kind of paralyzing fear that you go through when you believe that your, your life is at risk. Um, and, and the comfort and the, the peace of mind that comes with that decision and that conviction is unparalleled. So I have tasted and seen that the Lord is good. And uh, I invite you to come do the same.